Hello everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very first Shopify website. So luckily Shopify offers a free 14 day free trial where you don't have to provide any credit cards. So you can get started messing around with how Shopify works and making your very first website for free. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is just enter your email address here and then click on start free trial. Then it's going to prompt you to enter a password. Then you'll just click on create your store. Then just give it a few minutes to get everything set up. And so now it's going to ask you kind of what your intentions are. So the first thing it's asking is if we're already selling, I'm just going to click on I'm just playing around. Uh, what is your current revenue? We'll say zero. And what industry will we be operating in? Let's make this a electronics store. So now we'll click on next. And then here you just want to go ahead and provide your information. So fill this out and then click on enter my store. So once you've filled out your information, it's going to navigate you to this screen. And this is actually the Shopify um, home page. So if you scroll down, it kind of prompts us with some things that we can do. So adding our first product, customizing our theme, adding pages, optimizing and organizing the navigation, adding a domain name, setting up payments and review these shipping options. Um, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is actually before adding a product, let's go ahead and customize the theme a bit. So if we click on customize theme, once it's loaded up, you'll see this screen right here where you can actually um, preview the current theme that it gives you by default, which is called debut for free themes that we can choose from. So if we go ahead and click on explore free themes, you'll see that we get these options. So there's Dawn, Express, Narrative, Venture, Boundless, Debut, Simple, Brooklyn, Supply, and Minimal. So you can go ahead and look through these themes and find the one that matches the style that you're going for. But for this example, we're just going to go ahead and stick with the one that they give us, which is Debut. So now that we've gotten our theme selected, just go ahead and click on Customize. And it's going to take us to a new window that will let us see all of the default settings for our website. So right now this is what our site looks like. We've got our logo up here. We have our menu up at the top and then if we scroll down we'll see all of the different features that it's provided us. If you click on the desktop icon up at the top then you can also preview your website on a mobile device. So the first thing I always like to start off with is clicking down here at the bottom where we have theme settings and then clicking on the colors option. So this is going to be the colors for the site and by default this debut theme is going to be a light mode website. So if you want to keep that, you want to make sure all of the backgrounds are going to be white and all of the text is going to be a dark color. So for example, if you want to change the color of this text on top of the image, we can scroll down to where it says image overlays and instead of making it white, we can go ahead and make it red, for example. And then you can preview how that looks. Um, let's go ahead and keep it as white, then you can mess around with it and change it to any color style that you want. So go through all of these colors and choose the color scheme that matches the aesthetic that you're going for. Next, let's go back and actually put an image here instead of having just this default background image. So if we click on image with overlay text, it'll prompt us to select an image. So you can either upload an image from your computer or you can use one of the free images that Shopify provides you with. So let's go to uh, work from home. And we're going to use this image right here. We'll click on select. And so now that image is going to be the new background image there. And if we want to see how it looks on a desktop, we can go ahead and click here and click on the desktop option. Now let's go ahead and change the text that is above the image. So we can go up here and we can change the heading, which is the top, and the body, which 
is underneath it. So let's make the heading something along the lines of um, like best tech deals. And we'll make the body of this everything is 50% off. Just like that. Now we can also add a button here that can navigate to our product pages. So if we want to add a button, we can say view deals. And we'll make this button link to one of our products once we have one. So for now, we'll just send it over to all of the products. We can click on save. And now this top portion is all ready. But now you'll notice that down below, everything else is still empty. So let's go ahead and fill out a couple more of these options. So we'll go back. Next, we're going to add an image with text. So the, the difference between the top and the bottom is that this one has an image with text side by side, whereas the other one has text on top of the image. So now for this one, let's go ahead and select another image from the free images that Shopify provides you with. We'll go to work from home and select another tech related image. So let's use this one. And now let's give it some text and we can say, let's have this link over to laptops. And so we'll make the heading laptops for sale. And we'll make the body of this And we've got tons of laptops to choose from. Get one now before the options run out. And just like earlier, we can have a button here. So we'll say view laptops. And we're going to link this to a laptops collection as soon as we create that. So let's go ahead and save this. And now as far as the bottom goes, we're going to go ahead and leave that as is and we'll come back to that later. So now let's go back and we're going to click on the top left where it says exit. So now we can go ahead and add a product to our site. So to add a product, we're just going to go ahead and click on the product option menu. And then it's going to automatically open up to all products where it's going to let us add a new product type. So we're going to go ahead and click on add product. And now we can give our product a title and then we can also give the product a description. So let's just imagine, for example, we're going to be selling um, Apple MacBook Pros. And we'll say choose from a variety of Apple laptops. We'll say all of our laptops are brand new and we have several different kinds. If you want to change the style of the text you can always add a header by just adding a new line up at the top or anywhere in the middle and go to formatting and click on heading one or heading two depending on how large you want the text to be. So let's go ahead and use heading two and we'll say MacBooks 50% off. If you want to go ahead and center all of this text you can just highlight everything and then right here where we have alignment click on that arrow and click on center align. You'll see that that made it to where the heading no longer was a heading, so we have to just go back here and click on Heading 2. Now if we scroll down, we'll see that we can add files um, from our computer for images we want this product to have. So let's go ahead and add a picture of a laptop. We can go ahead and click on Add Files, and we'll select the image we want to add. You can add several images and you can also change the order by clicking one and then dragging it in the order that you want them to be displayed. Next, you can also specify the price 
as well as the compare at price. So what this basically means is this box right here is the amount that the customer is going to be paying. So let's say we charge $9.99 with 99 cents, but the typical price is $19.99 and 99 cents, giving this a 50% off deal. Here you can also specify the cost per item on your end, and this is just for your own purposes so that later on you can calculate how much profit you've made um, throughout your sales. You also have the option of charging tax on this product, which is completely up to you, so you can check that or uncheck it depending on what you prefer. Down below you can also give your products SKU numbers or barcode numbers, but that's not going to be required. And lastly you can also specify how many of these products you have available. So we can go ahead and say we have 10 in stock. Down here you can also check this box to add different options for your users. So for example we could offer different colors of laptops and then for each color option we can say I'm just going to be making this up but we'll say like red, blue, um, green, black, and white. So just to separate each of those out, go ahead and add a comma and then it's going to automatically make these five options. Here you can also change the price of different options, but for our example we're going to keep them all the same. And lastly we're just going to go ahead and click on the save button. So now that we have this created, we can go ahead and click on the preview button up at the top and we can actually see what this product page looks like. So now you'll see we have Apple MacBook Pro, we have the image that we added up here. We can go ahead and select a color depending on what we want. And right now it says sold out and the reason for that is we have to go back up here and instead of having it set to draft we want to go ahead and make it active. So let's click that, go ahead and save it, and now let's click on the preview option. So now instead of saying out of stock, we can go ahead and add our product to cart or even just buy it now. We have the price up here and it also shows the compare at price indicating that we have it at 50% off. And we even have buttons to share, tweet, and pin this um, so that the customers can actually share your store with their friends. So now if we go back to the product page, we have this one complete. Um, we can also go ahead and add tags to this in order to group different products in different collections. So down here we can actually give this a product tag of laptop so that later on we can group all of the different options for laptops together. Let's go ahead and save that. And now we're done with this. If you want to add a contact page to your Shopify website, it's going to be very straightforward. All you have to do is go to online store and then click on pages and then click on add page at the top right corner. So now you can give the page that you want to create a title. So we're just going to go ahead and say contact us. And the cool thing about the contact us page is that you don't have to create anything because it's one of the templates that is provided. So if we go to the right side and we click on contact and save, now we can go ahead and click on view page and see what it looks like. So we get the title up here at the top and an option for them to type in their name, email, phone number, and the message that they're curious about. What you'll notice is there's no way to actually get to the contact us page yet. So let's go ahead and change the navigation of our website. So we're going to go back to these settings and now we're going to click on the navigation option. So right here you'll see we have menus and we actually have two different types of menus. We have the main menu which is displayed on the very top of our website. and We also have the footer menu which is displayed at the very bottom. So let's go ahead and make the contact us page easy to find by clicking on main menu and then adding it up to the top. 
So now we'll see we have these two options as of right now, and we can go ahead and add another main menu option. We're going to name this Contact Us, and we're going to link it to the Contact Us form by going and clicking on Pages and selecting the page we want to link it to. We'll click on Add and save that. And so now if we go and preview the site, we'll go back to the home page. You'll see that we have the Contact Us option up here at the top, as well as that image that we added a few minutes ago. So everything's starting to come together. What you'll also notice is since we've added a product, if we go ahead and click on Catalog, we'll see the Apple MacBook Pro is automatically inserted because it's one of the products on our site. And so if we click on that, we'll be taken to the product page of that product and then add it to cart, in which case you'll notice that they'll have a notification where they can view the cart or continue shopping. One last thing I want to show you guys how to do is generate all of the legal forms that every site tends to have. So if we go back here and click on settings, we have an option to also click on legal. And so now we have three policies that we want to go ahead and create for our site. The first one is the refund policy, then we have the privacy policy, and the terms of service. And the great thing about Shopify is that it actually offers you templates to where you can just click on create from template. It's going to import all of that text and then you can kind of read through it and change anything that you want to edit. And you can do the same thing for the other two. So we can say create from template for the privacy policy. And we'll go down again and create from template for the terms of service. Once you have those three created, we can actually just go ahead and save. And now to make sure the users can actually see these three options, we want to go back to the online store, navigation, and we're going to add those three policies to our footer menu. So I'll click on footer menu, and we're going to add a menu option. We'll type in refund policy, and we'll link it to the policy for refunds. So refund policy, add. We'll do the same thing for the privacy policy. And link that as well. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and add the terms of service. And we'll add that as well. And now if we want to change the order, all you have to do is just click on these six little dots and drag it in the proper order that you want them to appear in. Then we'll click on save. And so now if we go back to our site and refresh the page and go down to the bottom, you'll see that we have those three options added here. And now if we click on one of them, the user will have the option to read through it. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how Shopify works in general. And the best way of getting used to Shopify as a whole is just messing around with all of these options so that you can better understand how everything correlates with each other.